got uh, James Lewis Jr. and Adrian Delph here. I'll be able to go straight into questions. James, any any commentary on Delph's 11 rebounds tonight? Uh, that's big time. I'm happy for him. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he'll get music this week, so I know he'll be happy about that. <laughs> Adrian flipping the script a little bit. James goes for 10 in the second half. Had a stretch there where he scored six straight uh, early when the ball wasn't falling from the field. You know, talk about his ability to kind of become, you know, an offensive weapon because we're so used to just seeing him play tough defense and get on the glass. Oh, yeah. His touch around the rim is, like, is very good. So when he get down there, we really don't expect him, like, to look out, especially one-on-one because any, anything down there for him is really a mismatch. <clears throat> Question for both of you. That's the, I think it's the fourth time in five games you've had four guys in double figures. Um, the scoring has gotten a lot more balanced, a lot more contribution kind of as the season's gone along. What's going on kind of, you know, as you've gotten more into conference play that's led to some of that balance? Um, just sharing the ball. I mean, all together, you know, we can't do it all by ourselves. So it's going to take everybody and whoever is, you know, hitting, we're going to try to get the ball to them each time. I mean, especially, especially if they're hot. So we just try to share the ball evenly. Defensively, McCadden, two for 10 from the floor. I think it was one for six last time. So that's their leading score, three for 16 from the floor. Um, and they don't score a lot of points. So you take him away, that's a real stinger for them. What was the defensive discussion around making sure you had a good body on him and, and really made it tough for him? We just, at the end of the day, we just want to guard, um, and that's what we did. Um, we didn't, we didn't underestimate him or um, anybody else on the team. Yeah, we shrink the floor. We came in this game knowing we needed to shoot the floor because they score a lot of points in the paint. So we make them shoot outside jumpers. Question for both of you because both of you benefit from this. Talk a little bit about Justin and kind of you know maybe a little bit of a transition in his role. Um, a lot of really good passes, leaves a lot of easy looks for, for all of the guys on the floor. You know, he's always been a good passer, but you know, Justin's role here a couple of years ago was really primarily scoring. And as the players around him have kind of developed, he's changed his game somewhat. Talk a little bit about that. Oh, yeah, he's definitely, I mean, I ain't going to say he really changes, you know, more in control and, you know, he just see the game, I guess, better. And, you know, he's already aggressive. So him going to the rim and can kick out and look for other people is to make him a better, make him a better player. Yeah, Justin, just a team player. He's gonna do what's best for the team. You guys have Georgia State coming in on Saturday. Um, you know, since App has been in the league, I, I think you could arguably say Georgia State has been probably the top program overall. Um, not having, didn't get off to as great of a start this year, but you still know what they're capable of. Those players are still the same guys that, you know, have won a lot of games down there. So what's important to keep doing? Because you guys are on a nice roll right now. What do you need to keep going to make sure that it comes your way on Saturday? Just come out every day, play hard, defend. Uh, defend and uh, do what we do offensively, man. We'll be straight. Okay. No other questions? You guys are good. Thank you. Thanks.